Hello friends, this is Yusuf here. Today in this video, uh, we are going to continue our uh, subfile coding. Uh, so in this video, we are going to update uh, database uh, record uh, via the subfile. Okay, so let's get started. So before we go on see the code, uh, as usual, I want to so show the uh, result first. So I have done actually the change here. Okay. So before that, so the last video we have done up to this, which means uh, we added a F6 option and if you press F6, there will be a new window coming in, you can give the details and then give the enter and some handling errors, those stuffs. So now what we are going to do actually, we are going to edit some of these uh, records. So we need an option here to choose which record we want to edit and then uh, we have to edit the file. Okay, so that is something similar to this. Okay, so we're going to add an option uh, column on the left uh, so that you can choose whatever you want to edit with C and then you can give enter. We should be popping up uh, the details. You can see this number is not editable but other fields are editable. So you can change whatever you want. If you change the B to E, case possible. And then if you give enter, it will be updated immediately in your database. So this is the, this is the thing which we are going to do. And there is a message saying record is updated. If you give a refresh, it will be going. So let's get started. First of all, um, this is a display file. Uh, we're gonna change. So, so much. Okay. So what we are going to do? So in subfile data, data is a data portion, right? So data portion. Uh, this is the data portion. This is the control portion. So I'm I need a, a column here. So I need to shift this to the right. So what I'm going to do? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I'm shifting this. Oh, sorry. It's so a data portion. We should change the data. So I'm shifting everything uh, right to 10 so that I get some space on the left. Okay. So now I got some space. So it's going to be an input uh, of uh, one uh, length. Okay and then let me shift it here so this is a data portion so the control portion we need to go and see it here we need to add a heading right so let's uh, add some heading so similarly uh, like what we have done in data portion i'm going to use this to do it okay, so i have added the option and you can give a star and then change the color you want to white okay cool so now we need a name for this so currently it's oh again so it's in a country okay whatever there here we should we should access this in the data portion okay so let's go to data portion and then question mark and i'm going to say it's imp opt so input option whatever okay enter okay good so we are good okay then uh figure star uh, there is uh, something called validity check okay so if you go inside okay so we can give whatever the values it will accept so as of now what i'm going to say i'm going to say compare equals to c so i'm going to accept only the value c this will uh, save some of the our uh, validation checks uh, coding okay so we're going to say only we, get, we are going to give option c and that's it so let's see uh, whether this looks okay in our um, uh, pf so i mean display file let's compile this okay so i'm going to recap this because we have changed the display file and then call okay so we got the option coming into picture and if you give one it says value must be c because we gave only c is acceptable so if you give c obviously nothing we ha nothing is happening because uh, we have not handled any code so let's quickly add some code okay before i want to code this portion let me quickly see the existing code okay so what i'm going to do until we press f3 okay uh, we're going to display the subfile and then if we whatever we pressed or the event handled we are handling it down so if you press f6 then actually we are doing the add uh, record concept okay so we have we have this if statement here but in general it's good to use the switch or a select statement so what I'm going to do now, I'm quickly going to move this to a new subroutine and I'm going to call that subroutine here and then I'm going to make this if to a select statement. So let me quickly code that. I have uh, now created a subroutine called add subroutine and inside the add subroutine, 
whatever we have done inside the if statement i'm going to move this to this okay uh, let's move inside to this so now we need we can just call add subroutine uh, exs or add sub i hope this is dot okay and also um, let me change to this to a select statement okay so this is a code so select and then when uh, is a syntax when 6 is on add subroutine others is are handle the other thing and then finally uh, we have to say end select okay good so inside uh, we're going to add some uh, code uh, okay if we have changed anything in the sub file right so the read c is the code to uh, read those data so read c and we can say sfl data so we're going to read the changed data from the subfile and as of now what i'm going to do actually um do while not percentage eof and do inside again a read c okay and then uh, i am going to display student uh, name okay so this code is just to check whether we are able to uh, get the data of what we have changed okay so now you can see i can select this and this okay and then you can see what happens so student 4 is displayed and student 8 is displayed so that's because the read c is actually reading the records which we have uh, changed okay so now uh, this is uh, actually the input for us so whatever the records they have they are going they are trying to change we need to take those inputs and then we should get another screen <coughs> okay uh, for make them to edit so for that what we are going to do we want to go to the display file okay and then i'm going to copy this okay and rename to update rec okay 12 so it follows the same pattern but here uh, what i'm going to do i want this to be um, input not the uh, what say both mode so do, i don't want them to edit it okay and then remaining things can be as such let it be no issues and here uh, this is a error message for this i can rename this to um, update uh, error message okay just for a change and here enter should be update okay so here if you try to update this to a uh, up uh, instead of add to update it will uh, spoil my coding and then i'll do it how to do it and here also uh, let me show you how to do it uh, from the source itself okay so i'm going to so inside if you give two okay bottom we should be able to see the update uh, you know this thing came into picture so what we are going to say the student number is the right so that's not both that's actually the output okay point 1 and then uh, we're going to say instead of add i'm going to say update so here we get only upper case so shift f1 and change this to no upper case only to no so that you get a smaller case good okay and then the heading where where is the heading 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 heading, heading. okay add new re student record so here you can see update student record okay good so this should be okay so you can see already the f12 is there okay good so inside the rpgly what we are going to do so we come here we see a read c good so until uh, end of file instead of display i'm going to say exfmt uh, upd rec okay so and then rec okay good so and also for each uh, update uh, i mean this thing right we need to create a subroutine which handles the event uh, from this screen okay so let's see first of all uh, this works fine okay i think we missed to compile the display file okay okay good so if you come here so again i can give a c and c and then give a enter now we can see the um, screen is displayed the data that's because this screen is having the same variable names uh, as like the uh, sub file screen as well so uh, it gets passed and you can see here the things are updated so as of now we didn't handle anything right so if you give enter it goes to the next coding so it means next c and we have the data available and then it goes and you can see the c is still available right so that we should change 
So let's quickly add the code and then we'll uh, we'll try to update the value inside the PF. Okay, so what we are going to do uh, after we show the screen to them, right? Uh, they, they 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 do something and then press enter or whatever. So I'm gonna say execute subroutine uh, upd uh, data. Okay, so this is subroutine which go, is going to handle everything. And after that, I'm gonna say my uh, input option equals to blanks. Okay, and then and then uh, up date sfl data okay so this is what you will do it will remove the c which we have typed right so it will uh, update with the blanks okay so now we should add the subroutine so let's quickly add the subroutine okay first thing is actually um if they have pressed f12 we should come out right so i'm going to say if uh, percentage sorry star in 12 equals to star on if they press f12 so what i'm going to say i'm going to immediately uh, switch off uh, the indicator and then i'm say uh, i'm going to say leave this r and f so this is one of the event which we are going to handle it if it is not f12 uh, what i'm going to do we'll be having the updated data in the in the window so we need to receive those into a temporary variable so temp uh, student name or simply temp name name is equal to stud name and temp uh, department equal to student department and temp grade equal to uh, stud great okay so okay so these are the um, uh, windows uh, variables and now i need to define those things so let's go here temp student uh, temp name. okay temp names before standard variable i'm going to say like std Okay, cool. So similarly, I will do the other things. Temp department, great. So it should be similar to department, great. Okay, so here uh, this student we currently is in input IFA. Okay, we should change to UF. Then only the update command will work. Okay, that's good. Um, we have. Uh, okay. So inside uh, what I'm going to do, I have received everything. So now I'm going to do a chain with a student number because student number is the only key. And this student number variable will be having the uh, number of the student because we have no uh, same as the uh, window variables. Okay, chain this with uh, student PF. Okay, and then if percentage found, obviously we'll get the data anyway. Okay, I'm going to say uh, student name is equals to temp name, student department equals to temp department, student grade equal to temp grade, and then update studfmt. And so you can you can wonder why I'm doing uh, reverse of this because see when we click enter on the screen right so this variable will be having the data from the window so we are having it in a temporary variable then when we issue this chain operation again these variables will be replaced with the records from the pf okay because they use the same variable name so what we need to do so we are going to change the pf uh, name data with the data we receive from the uh, window file okay okay so this time what i'm going to do i'm going to do um, debug to understand this better Okay, so I'm compiling with star source. Okay, so str dbg stud 001 r yes, yes. something wrong. Okay, f10 and then call stud 01 r. Okay, so I'm going to have a breakpoint in xfmd and then press f12. Okay, so now the screen is displayed. So let's see, I'm going to change this and this. Okay, and then press enter. So it comes inside actually, and it checks whether I uh, checks whether we have press F6. No, so it comes to other, and it reads it. So it's reading the first record. Then 
it's until the not end of file of the change record it going to the exfmt and uh, it's coming with the data we want so i'm going to say student number new and then i'm pressing f12 sorry enter uh, it goes inside and go to the update routine it checks whether i press f12 no so it comes inside so it, you can see here the value is student one new because this is what coming from the screen so i'm getting everything into my um, temporary variable now we can see the student number is one okay and then if you press f10 now this is already reading the data from the pf so now you should see the value of student number is student one because it comes from the pf so next things we just need to assign those temporary variables into our uh, pf variable and do update then that's it so we have just updated the record so next we are updating the input this thing to blank because this will update it on the sub file screen and then we are see, re re seeing the next record which means it comes and shows the next record which is student 3 which we have uh, selected okay and then i say student 3 new okay you can see here only i'm able to type capital letters we will fix that one now okay and press this time i'm going to press f12 let's see what happens it should not update right so i'm pressing f12 okay it's coming inside checking whether i press f12 in case yes i press the f12 so it's come inside and then it's f12 off and then leave this r and going out and then updating the option and finally it comes out of the loop and then it shows the our display press so you can see so this is already updated okay but this is not updated okay okay so f3 which will exit okay cool so you know you would have got some idea how to do it so the one which we saw seen earlier right uh, which is the capital letters input so let's fix that so in update rec this value if you give a star there will be a input keyword value to check input input keywords keying options yes. keying options if you give and said it will be a lower case entry allowed okay so let's put this to y that's it and then f12 f3 save this one and compile this one and compile this again call okay now if it gives one it's not working if i give c it goes inside and say uh, new low here good enter it updates so that's it for this video so i hope you got some idea uh, so with this knowledge you can try to do your own coding for the delete thing okay so similar to how we have c right you can have a option called d okay then you can that it, that should be a windows setting are you sure you want to delete if you say yes you should delete from the pf so try to do that thing by yourself uh, maybe in the next video i'll try to cover that part and then we'll see the other subfields codings in the future videos thanks for watching